You would think that something like evidence-based decision-making is a norm among professions, but if you take a closer look, it's actually quite the opposite. It is really important because it can be the differentiator between having a medical treatment that works and one that doesn't, or implementing some policy that has some favorable outcomes or the opposite. At the moment, I'm running a lab experiment where I'm looking at why some individuals are more evidence-based than others and what cues might foster more evidence-based practice. I have participants complete a few tests and then they go through a decision-making exercise where I'm measuring to what degree they are being evidence-based or not. We are hooking them up with uh, bracelets that are medically certified that measure uh, things like their heart rate, galvanic skin response. So we're getting objective measurements of their level of arousal, for example. Then the decision-making exercise is done in a virtual environment. So they're wearing a virtual reality headset with an EEG that is measuring their brain activity too. So we're getting an inside view of what's going on in their head when they're making decisions. They're placed in an office, they're at a desk, surrounded by a number of individuals, and uh, they're presented with a management problem uh, and a number of alternative solutions. And participants can choose whether to just pick uh, one of the solutions or to what degree they want to consult with these people around the table and follow the advice that they're given. One of the great things of this uh, headset we're using is that we can see, for example, where the individual is looking, their pupil size. We're getting a lot of data from the EEG. So we can analyze that to understand their level of attention, how they're processing the information that they're presented with. I'm hoping that we will understand a little better why we make decisions the way we do, why we so often ignore evidence that's around us, or follow evidence that is just weak evidence when there is so much strong evidence available to us. I'm also hoping that we can identify ways that we can help train people to be more evidence-based in practice. You've got amazing scholars here uh, at UNSW on a wide range of topics. I think you have very good support in terms of the resources that you need to do research. There's a lot of cutting-edge technology available which opens up a lot of doors and creates a lot of opportunities. There are a number of conferences that I've already been to in the region but I'm also looking to go to present in international conferences and uh, the school provides financial support in order to do that just like they provide support to conduct your experiments. If somebody were thinking about doing a PhD at UNSW, my advice would be just make sure they enjoy it. I've had fun, I mean, it's a lot of hard work, but it's also great that you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of autonomy, which was very important for me.